All right, before I spoil the good parts of this video, I want to catch you up on what I what's happened since I last saw you. So first of all, I have installed the motor, got it all wired up, um, and gone ahead and, and commissioned it. So you can see here in this video that it spins it around and it figures out exactly where it's aligned and, and, a, and a few other different things. You now I got it running in the forward direction and we, we checked to make sure that some air was coming out so that it was going the right way. Um, and in theory, the impeller was spinning forwards. Oh, that's forward, nice. After that, I charged up the batteries. You can see here uh, that we caught 31.6 kilowatt hours put into the battery according to my cons charger. So that was the first charge. And then we hitched it up, uh, took it out to the lake. So you can see here that we actually towed it with the Tesla Model Y. I took no videos of this because I am a horrible YouTuber. Um, but here's a picture of my dog sitting in the trunk uh, while we were parked and getting some ice. Um, so of course I have no video of just getting into the water, um, but without further ado... so close but not so the first test was unfortunately a little bit disappointing there was only two of us in the boat and i got all the way up to the front of it uh, and we still couldn't get to a plane we were getting about 10 to 11 miles an hour so it was so close i really wanted to do something with the boat uh, and so i was pretty set on wave surfing Yeah, I'll make sure we don't have anything left. Let it be known that this is the sketchiest thing we've ever done on this truck car. <laughs> oh boy, two bolts per tire. And we're gonna try to get home. The good news is the cooling system held up just fine. There were no overheats on the motor. There were no overheats on the batteries. Everything was great, so everything I made worked perfectly. Uh, until the ride home, one of our tires fell off. Uh, and so that was a little bit unfortunate. We had to actually roll across the road, and we ended up having to take the bolts off the other side and put it back on. So if you saw in my previous video, the reason this happened uh, was because of the battery lift. We actually had to take off the wheels on the trailer in order to get the batteries into the boat because the lift from Hor Harbor Freight, horrible freight as I sometimes call it, um, was supposed to go to 100 inches high, but we could only get it to 88. Um, and we needed like 92 inches, so taking the wheels off the trailer worked, uh, but I didn't retorque them afterwards, so that one's on me. Getting home, I went and checked out the impeller uh, and 
uh, it needed some work. So basically I need to bend it back out and maybe also get it bent a little bit better for high altitude runs because this motor is a little bit underpowered compared to the stock one. And ideally we wanna be at about the 5,000 to 5,500 RPM range. Um, so actually if we get the pitch like uh, dialed back, uh, it can help with this getting the RPM up a little bit higher. I also have some extra batteries to put in uh, eventually when I get that part of the build done. So that'll increase our voltage by about another 20 volts, which should put us in the 160 volt range, 150 volt range, um, instead of where we're sitting now under load, uh, which is like 100, uh, which is 130 volts at the start. And then when we're under load, it kind of drops to 120. We can see here that at 120 volts, there's just not enough torque to keep moving us up in RPMs. But if we increase the voltage up to more like 156 volts, and if we look at the manufacturer's graph, we can see that the torque curve doesn't drop off nearly as early, and it should keep us going well into the 5000s, I hope. Uh, in addition, we make a little bit more horsepower on the top end too. Um, so adding a little voltage will also help this. So I think the two things I'm gonna do, clean up the impeller, uh, clean up some of the drivetrain, make sure everything's good in there. Uh, and then make sure that I increase the, or, and then at some point I will increase the voltage uh, across the motor, uh, which should alleviate this trough even more, and I think it should be all good. According to some specs from BoatTest.com, um, you can see that the boat should be able to cruise at about 4,000 RPMs. Uh, between 4,000 and 5,000 is the ideal cruising speed, and that's like 25 to 30 miles an hour. Um, so we're in that range, but I think we just need to get a little more RPM uh, to get across the wall that is trying to plane. And then after that, uh, we're all of a sudden gonna be all good. And once we're on a plane, I think there's gonna be no issues. We can dial back the throttle. We're not, having, we're not gonna have to sit here at full throttle doing full throttle runs like we were at the lake. Um, but that being said, it was a great test. Uh, and I think that there were absolutely no issues um, in, in terms of the actual electrical components uh, maintaining this, this type of kilowatt uh, output, which is great. Um, that means I designed everything right, which is really cool. So it was a pretty good first test other than the wheel falling off. Um, I'm super happy to have sort of halfway surfed um, and I hope to improve the performance more for future videos. Uh, thanks for stopping in today. See you next time.